Hi everyone, this is Top3D Shop, and in this video we will tell you about the CreateBot D600 Pro FDM 3D Printer. The CreateBot D600 Pro is a large industrial 3D printing machine with a build chamber volume of 600 by 600 by 600 millimeters. This stable and versatile device can process a wide range of materials, including ABS, polycarbonate, nylon, and carbon-filled thermoplastics. Although the manufacturer does not claim that this printer is capable of working with high temp filaments, in this review we will try to print a small gear with peak at a temperature of 410 degrees Celsius. The machine has a closed chamber and is equipped with a powerful heating system. We're going to print on a glass surface with the chamber heated up to 60 degrees. We will also apply a layer of glue that was included in the kit to improve the adhesion of the printed model to the platform. Let's turn the printer on. The right extruder has a hot end with a maximum operating temperature of 420 degrees and a carbon steel nozzle. The heating system is installed on the left, behind the grill, to ensure high temperatures inside the chamber. Peak and other high temperature plastics are demanding in terms of temperature control. We will heat up the extruder, chamber, and bed to the required temperature and feed the plastic. An important point, before using the peak filament, you need to make sure that there is no plastic left in the hot end from past sessions. Otherwise, ABS or PLA residue can literally boil at about 400 degrees, requiring thorough cleaning of the clogged nozzle. On accessing the preheat menu, we set the heating temperature of the first extruder to zero since we won't be using it. The temperature of the second extruder is set to 410 degrees. We will not preheat the platform in the chamber yet in order to maintain a comfortable filament feeding procedure. These will be heated after the plastic is fed. After loading the peak filament, we applied the adhesive to the bed. The bed temperature was set to 110 degrees and the chamber to 60 degrees. Let's wait until the temperature reaches the desired degree. Now, an important point regarding power supply. Before starting the CreateBot D600 Pro, you should make sure that the line powering the printer can withstand at least 4 kilowatts. The machine will enter emergency power shutoff mode if you turn on the heating of all the units when the power line is not capable of withstanding high loads. We recommend checking the connecting scheme and power consumption rates in advance. So, we are waiting for the chamber to get hot. The print volume of the machine is large, requiring some time for the chamber to heat up. Likewise, the bed is still warming up, while the extruder has almost reached the operating temperature. For test printing, we chose this gear model. Its diameter is about 8 centimeters. We will test the strength of the finished product just by trying to break it with the hammer. The printing process has started. The raft is already finished and the printing of the part itself has begun. The high temperature inside the printer can be felt immediately, it's uncomfortable to even stand nearby. The print process is ongoing smoothly with good adhesion. We'll close the chamber to maintain the necessary temperature regime inside. The print job is complete, and already by the appearance of the finished part, we can say that the result is hardly satisfactory. Looks like the settings need adjustment. The model is quite difficult to remove from the bed. It also seems that the infill percentage was too low. Reprinting with updated settings is complete. The result is clearly different from our previous attempt. Let's wait until the temperature of the platform drops to overcome the strong adhesion of the glue. Let's tear off the support base, slightly cleaning up the part which was printed with 100% infill. Judging by the appearance, the gear turned out to be very durable. We can already give some recommendations with regards to the print settings. If you plan to print small parts like this gear, choose a layer height of 150 microns. If the size of the object is larger than 20 centimeters, it is recommended to print with a 200 micron layer thickness. Note that printing with peak can be difficult and is not always successful without extensive experience. We would recommend getting started with more complacent plastics like ABS and PLA, and then move on to high temp materials. Another important factor is the quality of the source material. Peak does not have a single set standard and different manufacturers may have deviating requirements for the material. How good is the branded plastic from CreateBot and the parts made from it? Let's run a mechanical test. The part has successfully endured repeated falls from a height of half a meter. Let's try a more serious test and examine the result. The traces of a strong mechanical impact are barely visible. Naturally, it all depends on the point of impact, but for our test, assessing the rigidity of the printed part with such an experiment is quite enough. This is Top 3D Shop with the CreateBot D600 Pro 3D Printer Test Studies. Subscribe to our channel, leave your comments below, and hit the like button if you've enjoyed the video. See you soon!